Welcome to MacroCode and today we are going to learn about uh, configurations in ASP.NET Core MVC. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and watching our previous uh, videos. So ASP.NET Core configuration settings are configured on three files. One is the project file called uh, CS uh, proj, the startup class and the app settings.json file. So these configuration settings that you are going to uh, see today, uh, we are going to see how uh, you can be able to configure them and uh, provide some settings on the, those files. So to get started, we'll just uh, proceed and creating an empty project. So this is uh, Visual Studio 2022. If you don't have Visual Studio 2022, consider watching our videos on how to install it. So I'll create a new project sp.net uh, core mvc model view controller template then i'll say configuration this is my name of uh, our project then next then i'll i'll use dotnet 7 which is under standard term support then uh, create new So our project is uh, done. So to see if our project is running, we can actually launch it. So at the top here, we can launch our project. We see if it, everything is fine. So it's launching. There we are. So this is our project. So as I had mentioned, SP.NET Core configuration settings are configured on three files. So the first one is the .cs project file. So how do we get the .cs project file? If you click on your project, then uh, right click it, you will see there is a section called edit project file. So if you click here, it will open our configuration uh, file. So if we just right click on our solution, then in you know, our project, then we say edit project file, it will open this file. So this file is now the configuration CS project file. So the CS project file can be used to one, install the Nugget package to your project instead of installing the Nugget from this uh, section. So you can be able to see that. Then you can also uh, see all the Nuggets that has been installed to your application. For example, if we just come to your application, then we say manage Nuggets. Then uh, we install, let's install one of the nugget, Newton, JSON. So search. Newtonsoft.json. Let's look for that one. Let's clear. This down one Newton soft. We can use entity framework. Go, yes. So let's install this one stable version. Ac accept the license terms. So you can see our nugget package is here. So if we click on our project, then say edit project file, we will have a package reference on our cs.project file. So this is uh, where we'll be able to see. So this .cs project file, it has the project uh, title. So this project title is the root element 
the SDK, the SDK attribute specify the, that the application should be built with this uh, uh, package, microsoft.net.sdk.web. It has the property group, which is used to group related properties, as you can see. Then it has the target framework, instruct, which instructs .NET Core to use, to use the specified version when building the project. So you can see, you can also alter this. Then we have the item group, this one, which, which is used to group related items as well. Then we can have folders. So if we create one of the folder, let me just do this, create, add, then I say, I say uh, view models. So you'll see it has our folder. This is the folder it has been added to our project.cs file. Then we have the package reference. You can see our package reference here. So it specifies the dependency on the nugget package exam, uh, the, the dependency on the nugget package. For example, we have the Microsoft Entity Framework Core. So to install the package from the nugget manager, uh, you do you you actually do this then you nugget nugget manager package then you specify the framework that you want json dot net that is it our Newton soft then you install it so it's installed so if we come to edit project file you, you can see we have the uh, package reference there. And as I, I said, the item group is used to group related items. So if we add another folder, we, it will actually uh, use item group to provide the related files. You see, services, it does actually group the folders together. So that is it about uh, Nugget Manager. So another thing is now the sp.net core program class the, so the program class you can see the program class here the program class is the entry point of sp.net core app it has a method called main so which uh, for sp.net uh, version 7.0 uh, you, you cannot see that so this is the entry point for our application so the main the main uh, entry point is uh, this one so that is one of the of the uh, configuration uh, file. So uh, SP.NET Core uh, uh, version seven, we don't have the startup class. So this is the uh, only program.cs file is the entry point for our application. That's why you can see the app.run uh, section. So that is majorly about CS project, CS project file and the configuration in ASP.NET Core. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and watching our previous videos. And uh, remember to keep safe.